Being able to capture unexpected moments on camera isn't something easy, but it sometimes happens. You guys see that shadow? Where? Where? Where are the clouds? From mysterious phenomena to creepy encounters, you're definitely in for a ride. What's the floor? Ah! Better, better. Wow, mira la cantidad, ¿qué es eso, man? Hi, I'm James Lefer, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be analyzing unexplained phenomena and the most unexpected and the creepiest encounters caught on camera. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Now just imagine the following situation. You get out of your house at night to get a lunch with friends and you're walking down the streets when all of a sudden you notice something strange. You don't know what it is, but you look up and you see what appears to be a person floating just above you. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But it isn't. This is actually what happened with Cristo, who lives in Mexico and posted a video of what appears to be a flying humanoid caught on camera. Frightened with what she was seeing, she started recording it and posted the video to YouTube and this is what she saw. Swear to God, that's a person. Dude, flash the light! If you're a person, flash the light! Okay, maybe it's not- oh! What appears to be some sort of shadow-like figure can be seen floating just above the ground. Crystal is completely baffled by what she saw and the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but if you do have an idea, please do leave a comment. What I do know is that there are several other videos portraying something similar. What the flying, man? For instance, in this next video posted by Anne Watford YouTube channel in San Antonio, a family notices what appears to be a human-like figure floating just above them. This is when they zoom in and what they see left them completely speechless. This is what they captured on camera. Where'd it go? Yeah. Where is it? What the f is that? Where'd it go? Huh. What? Did it show good on you? Yeah. At first, I thought this could be a person using a hang glider or something like that. But after watching the video once or twice, pretty sure it's not. It has to be something else. But it looks like some sort of creature flapping its wings, but it has to be huge. Taking into consideration the distance and altitude. So what is this? In your opinion, could this be the real deal? I mean, is it some sort of flying creature that we don't know of? Or is it something entirely different? In certain cultures, it is believed that witches and certain entities can actually fly. And stories of flying humanoids have been told all throughout history. Take for instance an article that was written in September 1880 in Coney Island about a surreal encounter with a flying humanoid. According to the article, a man with bat's wings and improved frog's legs and a cruel and determined expression on his face was spotted by multiple witnesses flying in a swimming-like motion toward New Jersey at a height of about a thousand feet. So could it be evidence of such creatures or entities or is it something else? What's your take? When it comes to strange phenomena nowadays with the internet at our hands, 
there are dozens of videos of strange things that happen out there that people sometimes can't find an easy explanation. Is that a wolf or a dog? That's a dog, Mom. No, it's it's not. I saw it come through. Or a beast. What is? Saudara saudara, ini hujan di mobil ini doang ini lihat nih. Yang lain kagak nih. Nih, yang lain gak ada yang hujan. Ini di mobil ini doang nih. Tuh, masya Allah. For instance, a couple of weeks ago, in the city of Haiko, several videos became a viral sensation on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook of what people believe to be a mysterious phenomena that was captured on camera. This, for instance, is one of the videos. <laughs> Now, even though I've never seen anything like this in my life, and it does look like some sort of portal coming out of a sci-fi movie, this kind of phenomenon has a good explanation. It has to do with the ice crystals and the sun reflecting at the right place at the right time, and you see this effect. However, sometimes things don't have an easy explanation. And this is exactly the case with this next video that you're about to watch. Check this out. You guys see that shadow? Where? 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 Where are the clouds? Where are the clouds? In the video, we can see what appears to be some sort of shadow being projected into the mountain, but there is absolutely no object or no clouds that would explain whatever it is that we're seeing here. Whatever is going on here, Betita Joe, who originally posted the video, was absolutely stunned by it. But it wasn't just her. The video went viral and amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were just as baffled as she was. One internet user suggested that this could be a grass field that was burned. However, Betita Joe posted a next video showing that it wasn't a burned field. So whatever is going on here, it has to be something else producing this shadow on the mountaintop, but what? But this isn't the only video that portrays what people believe to be a glitch in the simulation. In this particular video, for instance, we can see three dogs. One is attached to his leash, while the other one in the middle is floating somehow. If you take a closer look, there is absolutely no explanation to how this dog is literally floating midair. But this isn't all. This last week, another video went viral of what's supposed to be a plane stuck midair. Check this out. All right, everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look, this plane isn't moving. It's not moving. But it sounds like it's moving. Needless to say, the video went viral and amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. What is going on with this plane? In the video, we can clearly see that it's not moving at all. But in this case, there could be a reasonable explanation and it could be due to headwind or contrary wind. In the video, we can actually hear and see that it's kind of windy, so it could be that. But how do we explain the other two videos? The one where there's a shadow being cast in the mountains, but there's nothing above it, and the one with the dogs. These, in my opinion, are really creepy videos. They actually suggest the existence of maybe a parallel universe some sort of invisible force, or maybe something else. What's your take? If you're a really big fan of camping and spending some time in the woods, you've probably heard strange stories of cryptids, Bigfoot, or unknown entities that sometimes are caught on camera deep in the woods. Kalian dengar sesuatu? Kalian dengar suara? Kalian dengar suara dan mereka... Mereka seperti mengikuti di belakang gua, teman-teman. Ya, gua dengar suara. Gua dengar suara, teman-teman. Dan arahnya di daerah, arahnya di daerah sini. 
Astagfirullah. Now, strange stories of such creatures actually go back to the 13th century or maybe even before that, when German peasants carved kobold effigies for their homes. Now, what's intriguing about these kobold entities, which nowadays we know as goblins, is that they can supposedly shapeshift into a candle, a fire, an animal or a human-like form and they were said to be seen all over Europe. <laughs> In this next video, for instance, Justina Folger was wandering into a river for a dip in the Tatra Mountains with her boyfriend Peter Kowalski, when all of a sudden they saw what they thought at first was a bear. This is when all of a sudden this thing got up on its own two legs and started running. And they caught it all on camera and this is what they saw. If we slow down the video, we can see what appears to be a giant ape-like creature that scared Justina and Peter Kowalski. The thing is, if this is Bigfoot or not, it's very hard to tell. But there are other videos out there that portray what appears to be some sort of entity that hides deep within the woods. Entities that are very difficult to even begin to explain what is it that we are seeing. See the move. Look at them. Big old eyes. Big old eyes, dude. There's, there's a bunch of them. And this is sort of what happened with Brian and his girlfriend, who have a YouTube channel by the name of Exploring the Unknown. And they usually like to explore the woods, mountains, and abandoned houses. In one specific video, Brian and his girlfriend decide to spend the night at a campsite in Michigan, deep in the woods. At first, they spent the entire day preparing the campsite, and late at night, about 1 a.m. in the morning, they went to sleep. This is when they started hearing strange thumping noises just outside their tent, and in a very smart move, in my opinion, they did not leave the tent. This is until 4 a.m. in the morning when they had to go to the bathroom. This is when things got really creepy, and they were very sure that they were not all alone. And this is what happened. Alright guys, it's like, <clears throat> it's like 4 in the morning. I had to get up to pee. And so did Katana. So, we pitched a fire over there. So the quality is not the best. But, off in the distance, I hear like yelping. I hope you guys can hear it. I cannot hear it, but Brian can Are you still hearing the footsteps? Because I'm not. Yeah. I should have footsteps over here. Should I grab my flashlight? I think another light would not hurt. I just don't want to leave the car by too long of a distance. Brian and his girlfriend Katana were pretty sure that there was something out there but they were still in doubt that it might be a critter or some kind of animal. After all, they were hearing these strange noises since they went to sleep at 1am and they were still going on. They decided to go back to the car to check it out and things started getting really creepy really fast. They continue recording and this is what happens. Yeah, I'll come, I'll come with you. Well, it's kind of, I guess, alarming to me that the yelping stopped.
Is this you? No, I promise. Not intentionally, at least. I don't think it was a branch. I kind of think it was because it lines up with the branch. What the? Did you hear that? The branch? Yeah, that sounded big. Hello? Is there another big that had to be in the camper? It's four in the morning. Who's gonna be up? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's weird. It's weird. Did you see that? Well, neither did Brian or his girlfriend at the time. What appears to be a glowing pair of eyes can be seen hiding just behind one of the trees just next to them. And if you take everything into consideration, the scratch on their car, the footsteps, the strange howling sound, the tree branches, it all comes to a conclusion that they weren't alone. But it's very difficult to say exactly what it is that was lurking in the darkness in that woods. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Do you think they caught video evidence of the presence of an entity such as the kobold goblin or maybe something else? And what would you have done in their situation if it was me? I would have probably gotten out of there as fast as possible right after identifying that strange scratch on the car. But I'm not too sure. What do you think? And what would you have done? In today's world, if you live in a big city, you'll notice that in most places there are several CCTV cameras recording what happens all over for people's security and safety. The thing is, most of the times these cameras are just recording people going from one place to another. But in rare cases, these cameras get to record really strange things. And I guess this is what happened in this next video that we're about to watch that was posted by a Twitter user by the name of TNTJohn17. In this video we can see what appears to be two people walking on a road late at night at about 12.45 a.m. in the morning. This is when one of the people in the video gets too close to the other one and something completely unexplained happens. Check this out. Whatever is going on here, it seems that this person who appears to shapeshift on camera is not a person after all. Never seen anything like this, but internet users suggest that this could actually be demonic possession caught on camera. Now, demonic possession is considered to be real by exorcists and some psychiatrists. For instance, on July 1st, 2016, Richard Gallagher wrote an article about how he became a scientist who actually helped exorcists identify demonic possession. So this is actually a thing and it's taken very seriously. And what's really strange about this video is that if we analyze it closely, it doesn't seem to be edited. The person who jumped on the other one saw something and it ran as fast as possible as if it had seen a ghost something like that. So everything in this video suggests that it could be the real deal, but I'm not too sure. What would you say? If you're a really big fan of stargazing at night, at least once or twice in your lifetime you've come across an object in the sky that you thought was maybe a star, a planet, or maybe something else, and it ended up being a plane or a drone. The fact is, there are loads of planes or drones 
traveling through our skies during the daytime and at night. So it's kind of easy for us to confuse these objects. Just so you have an idea, the first drone display show was presented in 2012 in Linz, Austria, where the Ars Electronica Future Lab introduced Spaxels, that means space elements. That happened for the first time in 2012, and these drones were able to use flocking or swarming behavior. Now of course, if we see something like this at first, we might actually think we're looking at a swarm of UFOs or something like that. Drones? Yeah. I've never seen drones with lights like that. What the hell is that? And it's still moving. But the truth is, sometimes, it isn't drones. And this is sort of what happened a couple of weeks ago in California, when a family spotted something really awkward at night and started recording immediately. And this is what they saw. It's not burning up. No. So. That's so trippy. Yes, it is. What appears to be a bird murmuration can be seen at first. But then if you pay attention to it, it's not birds. Whatever this thing is, it's shiny on its own. But it wasn't just seen once or twice, it was seen all over California and there are dozens of videos of it. This for example is a very similar video but this time you can actually see that these things are flying quite fast. Check this out. Espera, espera. Wow, mira la cantidad que es eso. Man. In this other video, a family catches the same thing, but it appears to be way higher and moving much slower. Check this out. this other video that was also taken in California, we can see what appears to be the same thing, but this time lower and faster. Check this out. Oh my god, where's daddy? Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Tell Jody and them. Whatever it is, it's most likely not Starlink because these are not satellites. You can see they're really below the clouds. And it's not a drone show because a drone show behaves in a very different manner. So what is it? What's your take? Legends of mermaids are well known and told with different forms and endings an all oral tradition of people linked to the sea. From Denmark to the Spanish coast, there are many references in Europe to this creepy tale. The thing is, whether they exist or not is a complete mystery. Now it is quite interesting that in all the different cultures that this story is told, it's basically the same thing. A humanoid creature with this fish-like tail that enchants sailors. Now what's really interesting is that in the past couple of months, there was a YouTuber and Instagrammer by the name of Sauce90 who started posting videos of what he believed to be an encounter with these mermaids. He made live videos in which you can hear and actually see these supposed creatures. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yo, that was instantaneous. 
this, bro. Oh, I gotta watch my step out here, man. Guys. Now I did make a full story on him and if you want to check that out, this is the video and I'll leave a link under the description. But after he posted a sequence of live videos, the internet went crazy about it and it became a trend to hunt and explore the oceans in search for these mysterious creatures. And surprisingly, it seems that some of them have actually captured some kind of evidence. One video posted by Juan Irani 7 in Spain, we can hear what appears to be the singing of a mermaid. Hostia, mira, 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 mira. Se acaba de poner a cantar. Se acaba de poner a cantar. Se acaba de poner a cantar. Este canto, la verdad, que, que es inigualable. After a few moments, the hypnotic singing stops, and Juan Irani spots what appears to be some sort of creature emerging from the water. Hostia, chaval. The video amassed 10 million views at least and thousands of comments. And if the video is real or not, I'm not too sure. What I do find creepy though is the fact that there are hundreds of comments of people saying that they've actually heard something very similar at least once or twice in their lifetimes. Which makes me think that this could actually be the real deal. But it gets even creepier. There are other YouTubers and Instagrammers searching for mermaids in the same place in Spain, in a beach called Costa Brava. And this other influencer by the name of Minuto Paranormal captured something chilling on camera while he was with his family and a large group of people. And this is what they saw. No sabemos qué es. Ahí hay gente que está saliendo del agua, están todos mirando. Tenemos una sirena en el agua. Están todos mirando. Whatever it is that's swimming in the water, it scares everyone away and it gathers everyone at that beach around to see it. Pretty sure this is not just some fish. A Minuto Paranormal and others at that beach around him believe it could be a mermaid. But I'm not too sure, it's very difficult to say just by watching this video. But Minuto Paranormal continued on capturing the event on camera, and this is what happens next. After watching this video once or twice, I'm pretty sure that this thing is really big. But it's not a shark because there is no fin. And it's not a fish because a fish wouldn't just gather that many people around. So what is it? In your opinion, do you think mermaids could actually exist or is it just a myth? And what is really going on in these videos? Have you ever seen anything like this yourself? When I was younger, my grandparents used to tell me really strange stories of a boogeyman of sort that lived in my neighborhood and I always thought that they were kind of making it up just to make sure that I would be an obedient kid. 
I know that most folk stories and fairy tales were actually made up just to make sure the kids obey and stuff like that. But the truth is, there is little to no information where the boogeyman story actually originated. It is thought to be derived from the word bog, which means hobgoblin in Middle English, and the legend surrounding it may have originated in Scotland. Although it's not totally clear, there are reported reference made to the boogeyman monster as early as the 1500s. But even though we know very little about its origins, one thing is for sure, the boogeyman loves to lurk in the shadows of the night and scare the heck out of disobedient people. And even though to this day I do not believe in the boogeyman monster, I can't find an easy explanation for this next video that we're about to watch. The video begins with two girls coming back home late at night, when all of a sudden they encounter a person acting really strange. They decide to record it all with their phone cameras so they kind of feel safer. And this is what they caught on camera. <laughs> After coming across what appears to be a strange person on the street, the two girls are now arriving home when they actually spot what appears to be the same figure, but this time it starts walking in their direction. Completely scared, they run inside as fast as possible and start locking all the doors before this thing, whatever it is, comes in. And even though they lock all the doors as fast as possible, this thing appears to be absolutely everywhere. <laughs> The two girls start to realize that whatever it is that they're dealing with isn't a person after all, it's actually more of a ghostly figure maybe, or a boogeyman. But there's absolutely no explanation to what's about to happen, and they caught it all on camera, and this is what happens next. <laughs> While locked inside the bathroom, they hear furniture moving and things of sort. They call a friend that quickly hurries up to their home, and this is what they captured on camera. When a couple of friends arrive, they come out and they notice loads of furniture knocked down and they think it's finally all over. When all of a sudden they notice that whatever this ghostly entity is, it's still there. Check this out. A glass cup seems to fly out of the kitchen table out of nowhere and now they're pretty sure that what they're dealing with isn't of this world. 
Nevertheless, they make sure the doors are locked, and this is what happens next. <laughs> They hear what appears to be a friend of theirs mumbling from another room. They quickly go there and there's absolutely no one there. This is when the sofa and things start moving by themselves and they quickly get out of there as fast as possible. Whatever this thing is, it could be an elaborate hoax or it could be a boogeyman encounter of some sort. I find it interesting that this thing is everywhere. It was behind them, then in front of them. Inside the house it was on their porch, on their window, and then objects start moving by themselves. It's really creepy, and their reaction seems legit, but I'm not too sure. What do you say? Do you think this could be evidence of a paranormal event caught on camera, or something else entirely? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos, don't forget to check them out. And leave a like if you enjoyed this one and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys again.